Hello, everybody. We're back with this, uh, this crap. <laughs> 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 and we got Emmy back. Uh, Hello. She, uh, she was there for the uh, WWE 2K20 uh, stream, which is another Kuso game of a wrestling game. Uh, so, the way that I've discovered the, like how to play this game now, uh, to avoid actually playing it, is to do tournament mode. Because uh, <laughs> for some reason, you can't sim in any of other modes other than tournament mode. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah. Y you know how the battle royals work in this? No. I, or I used to, but it's been like... 500 years. <laughs> so, basically... Um, it does the whole standard stick, it's like, oh, it's like 30 people or whatever, and so you assume that, you know, it just goes down to the last person. No, it ends as soon as you lose. So, like, whoever, huh. whoever eliminated you, uh... <laughs> Who was it that was getting, like, a bunch of the wins last time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know Coco Beware eliminated us, like, twice, I think. Anyway, I have a surprise new, uh, surprise new character. Uh, we have Hogan clones. Uh, cause I had, <laughs> I had two ideas for that. Uh, I'm gonna have Wah fight, uh, it's like... Andy Kaufman. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's get him in his... You know, usual outfit. Uh, let me see. I... Oh. It's a four-person tournament too. That's weird. I just this game is uh, actually something. Actually, I guess we. Uh, I guess an eight-person would fill out like forty minutes or something. So. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Let me. And if we start running low on time, we can just like skip matches. Oh yeah, there, there is that too, yeah. Oh put... god, who's in this game? It's been so long. <laughs> the Grand Wizard's in here. The, yeah, um... <laughs> yeah. We didn't get to oh, see Oh, Scott Steiner! Grand Wizard versus Scott Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, um, where is he? He's up and to the left. Right. This, this menu is also annoying because it's like a one rotate... Oh, up and to the right. Oh, up and... He's oh. kissing his own muscle. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, these... That's a good descriptor of it. <laughs> these action figure... Renditions. <laughs> this bothers the hell out of me. The fact that there's just nothing here. Yeah. Like, there's nothing unlockable. They just forgot to take this out. <laughs> I think they did this to make it look like there are way more characters than there are. <laughs> this is funny, because, like, this roster's, like, plenty... Funny pad mm -hmm. now. Like, I uh, I would say Jimmy Hart or Mill Mascarist. You have to do a uh, Mill Mascarist versus uh versus um. Can you like randomize the order at all, or is this game not good enough? I don't think this game lets you do that. Oh, Capcom vs. SNK 1 character select. Yeah, that new Capcom vs. Uh, versus game they just, uh, somebody just talked about. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what V's voice actor is referring to this whole time. <laughs> okay, so... We're gonna start with the battle of the better Hogans. <laughs> and... Yeah, so the weird thing is certain arenas just make the emulator stop loading. So I don't I don't know why, but Erg. <laughs> uh, I, I uh, is there a way to up video quality on uh Discord like there... screen share? Like like from like from my point of view? Or there, no? Uh there might be. Hold on. Because like I, I usually have it low just to have it have the frame rate high. Okay, so, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, let me. 
Let me let me try going full quality. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. whoa. That's not it. Whoa! <laughs> that got meta for a second. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hopefully this works. I mean, we gotta go with the cow palace. The historic cow palace. <laughs> His mouth's not moving either. You can't have a wrestling game where the... Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, uh, God. Yeah, Jerk Bogan. Jerk Bogan put a shirt on. Yeah, I forgot to change the entrance attire. Mullets are sexy. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> what the... My alarm just went off. Hold on. <laughs> That's Jerk Bogan's new theme. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to change the move list for both of these guys, so they are just both Hogan with a better <laughs> of paint. But, uh. Come on, let's see the other guy. It's a, stop being a jerk. <laughs> it's Jerk Bogan. It's what he does. It's in his name. <laughs> I forgot I changed this theme. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, fun fact I actually uh, gave. I gave him long pink hair, and at some point the editor just removed it, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> this is right after he had a match with a rock. <laughs> I, I watched that video like 40 is, times yesterday. It's right after he had a he had a match with the no wait. Let me do, he had a match with the rock. I had a He's match. Going to have him. <laughs> I had a match with you. I had a. Ah, <laughs> uh, God! Even, like, <laughs> even just watching this, I just feel the flow of this game. Like, I played a ridiculous amount of this game, so I I used to rent this game constantly for some reason, <laughs> and uh, on I think it was the GameCube version of it. Because I think this game had a GameCube version, and I would, I would play this game way too much, and so it was just like, what? I, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this won't work. Oh, <laughs> uh, stream audience, by the way, how's the audio bounce? Because last time I was like really quiet. <laughs> Oh my god, just the way this game moves is like... <laughs> it's like it was, it's it's like all-stars without the fun. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> What's really funny is that uh, there's that No Mercy mod, Showdown 64, that just takes the roster to this for the most part, but it's like, what if it, like, played good? <laughs> Sadly, what Grand if somebody Wind that wasn't a claim made it? <laughs> yeah, it's just like... The funny thing is, like, I've played a bunch of the other acclaimed wrestling games, and I gotta say, this one, like, somehow controls the worst out of all of them. <laughs> well, it's because this is the one that didn't have, like, a company giving them money for it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> this was just them going, alright, let's get every uncontracted wrestler we can in 2004 and try to capitalize on their names. <laughs> and it was bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's just like... I don't know how the flow got worse <laughs> over the years. It's like, it's like, it really is weird. You look at Warzone, and it's like, that's not great, but you start like looking at the games after that, and it's like, somehow they just kept getting worse and worse, and I don't know how. <laughs> like The answer... Needs... The answer was they forgot to put MVVs in all their future games. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> that's true, but it's just like Warzone. It's like it even looks the best. Like it's like oh, there's actual lighting and different camera angles and stuff. And <laughs> it's like the ECW games just look like crap. Like I don't know. I'm but, seeing that the audio is fine, by the way. Okay, cool. What is he's gonna make their original wrestling game like they said they were? Oh, well, uh... soon trademark. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come out, uh... Damn, the Duke Nukem Forever jokes don't work anymore since that game actually came out. Uh, <laughs> and, and, mm. Although it still, like, still doesn't seem finished, but, you know. 
Look at that running bulldog. <laughs> he was actually just looking at a dog in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have picked Bobby Heenan because he has like the best, like, he has the best sound bites in this game for some reason. Oh, do you have to choose between one and one or the other? Oh, why not? No, she's talking about as a playable character. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, for some reason, like, so I guess since they already had him doing voices for the... <laughs> Why is that <laughs> happening? Uh, uh, yeah, since they already had him doing the voices for the booth, I was like, I guess they were just like, okay, just make sounds for your character. For some reason, every time he attacks as a character, he just keeps going, eh, eh. I don't know why. <laughs> When he hit him, he starts like choking. <laughs> uh, the, the best thing though with this, this game actually does have the best ref bombs because he actually has dialogue after it happens. I remember last time he got knocked down, he was like, "Whoa, what's happening?" <laughs> and then just kind of walked off like nothing happened. <laughs> I guess he hit him so they hit him so hard. Uh, <laughs> Impact of everything, even the finishers is like <laughs> just not existent. <laughs> Everyone just gets right up. <laughs> it's like Fire Pro, where nobody has Ukemi or something. <laughs> also, I pointed it out last time, but I do like the button prompt showing up in the Titan Tron, like it's the last stage of Tekken 2 or something. <laughs> I should have just made like Devil uh, Jimmy Hart or something. <laughs> Maybe in the next game we can, because like, there's so many people to edit in that game. I think it finally occurred to us what the right gay guy reminds us of. Was that <laughs> Black Rain? <laughs> oh, that sounds familiar. Let me let me look him up real quick, because I am. Uh... It's R E I G N, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Black rain. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, that is gold dust. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> that is the worst pe period of gold dust career. It's or the best. I like, like it. It's like gold dust zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst point in his career for him, and he yeah. doesn't like talking about it. <laughs> but it's just so hilarious at the same time. <laughs> Whoa, what the... God. So, okay. Has let's... anyone gone for a pin yet? No. Nope. The matches in this go on for fucking ever. <laughs> oh my god. I understand why you initially did a four-person tournament. Yeah, I think we might just look at the initial matches and then just <laughs> move on. Because this might just eat up the 40 minutes. Uh, so the funny thing is, I actually replayed, uh, WCW Nitro, and the funny thing is, weirdly, that plays better than this. There's one major flaw in those games, is that it's way too damn fast. Like, well, that- <laughs> Yeah, there's a map that, that even makes it faster. <laughs> yeah, like, it's- <laughs> I think it was called, like, the Turbo Map. Yeah. Where it's just, like, it's- they just take, like, all- like half the textures out of there, and so it makes the whole thing run at like 60 FPS. <laughs> Wait, did the Toshinden three thing? Yeah. And I will say, like, that would be an interesting game to stream if I knew most of the move sets, because none of the, like the developer guys, except for Veal, uh, have any moves listed. <laughs> okay. I'm Gonna stop this praise off for a quick second. When the fuck did Hulk Hogan ever do a kill switch? <laughs> this isn't this isn't Hogan. It's Jerk Bogan. <laughs> this it's like when when assholes on Twitter talk about like indie wrestlers who don't sell. <laughs> this is just what I'm gonna think of now. I mean, these two never will make it out of the indies, so they'll never make it out of the territories. <laughs> <laughs> this sport can be brutal, yeah. It's <laughs> one word for it. I still don't know how, like, why the editor just removed the hair from uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the ball guy. <gasps> the uh, first pin of the game. One, two, <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> no, it's not! No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like... Burn Ganyu takes one look at Jerk Bogan and goes, Nah, I'm not gonna put the effort in. <laughs> what kind of animation is that for that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. Bear hug. Bear hug. What? Why was there a punch sound? <laughs> you know what's truly preventing this game from being good? It doesn't have beans. It doesn't have beans mode. <laughs> <laughs> also, as uh, we showed before, the editor mode in this is like easily the worst out of the acclaim ones. Like yeah. the body, the body scaling parts are the only good part about it. They don't let you color any costume parts, so it's just like. Aren't you kind of just pasting stuff onto pre-existing wrestler models? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Uh, this is his finisher. And... <laughs> was that a rope break? I don't know, he just... He didn't do anything after he did the... What the... Oh my god. Jared, Jared, what are you doing? For a moment, we thought we were setting up for the Akshi Bomba, but... <laughs> Man, this might be the one wrestling game that's actually better when you play it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, I have to play it. <laughs> <laughs> On the one side, the matches end. On the other side, you have to play the video game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Yay! <laughs> so he was the wrong game guy. Eliminated. <laughs> yeah, whatever you said. Uh, all right, what was the other? So, one? if that's if they're all gonna take that long, what I say is we watch the next CPU versus CPU, and then we skip all the way to the final. That's fair. Because I think I'm in this match, so, like, I can't, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's I, you I... and Creepy Way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... I would have too much of a bias. I completely forgot what my moveset even is. I think it's, like, one of the preset ones, but... The preset movesets are really <laughs> weird. Like, it's like you have, like, you know, the... Typical, like, power and high flyer and stuff. Then there's just some dependent on body types for some reason. It's like, here's one for male barrel-chested. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> Male obese. Yeah. Um, uh, Cinderfall Fan 64 the reason why is because this is not a WWE game, and WWE owns that song. Yeah. Hogan doesn't own that song. That, I just used the Andy Kaufman theme anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, I forgot that that's my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> the entire Rock and Roll Express. <laughs> it's within me. So... <laughs> so I actually put in my actual weight, and the game just kind of distributed it like this. <laughs> and here's... Yeah. I will say... Uh, the pumpkin mask, the hair, and the spikes, I might be onto something there. <laughs> <laughs> she stole, uh, the other guy's hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she just ran with his wig. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> I like how she mimicked putting the guitar down. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have dedication, like Tanahashi. <laughs> well, Tanahashi tosses his. <laughs> Man, imagine Tanahashi is in this game. I mean, again, Dr. Death is, which still amazes me. <laughs> it's just like, now I'm just imagining, like, what if, like, just like fucking Gary Albright in this game stall or something like that? Like. <laughs> I already forgot if Stan Hansen's actually in this. Oh, 
But I don't um, think he is. He's yeah. too good for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still amazed Vernganya is not in this game. <laughs> Uh, Cinder actually brought up Luna Vashon. He thinks he's too good for this game. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Cinder brought up Luna Vashon last time when we were talking about, like, there's no actual female legends in the base roster. Who would you put in there? And that would be a very good one, but... Mm. I mean, not even See, a China or anything. Like, when was this game? 03? 03, 04, I think. Yeah, China would be good for that, because she was gone at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it's the strikes, I think. Like, it's just like <laughs> nothing flows together well at all. It's just like single strikes and nothing's comboing into each other. Like, <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 It's modified Hurricane Runner. It's modified in that it looked weird as hell. <laughs> a uh, a unique technique. <laughs> or as um, was it Joey Styles on ACW game? I I feel like he would call that the Hudan Conrada. I think he called it. <laughs> God, all the stopping and pausing is driving me insane. <laughs> A tremendous in that ring. <laughs> what did you even do? <laughs> Break dancing? Break dancing? Is that what you just said? Oh, oh. oh man, I think we... <laughs> We hit the big time, we're getting spam bots. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wanna become famous? <laughs> Buy followers to watch this game. <laughs> they just get so desperate they add David Bowie in this game. <laughs> well, why the dramatic camera angle on that move? Like, <laughs> <laughs> on this... I thought it was a camel clutch, and then it wasn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was my teleportation powers. <laughs> that weight you distributed just created a spring effect. <laughs> Nobody ever has follow through. That's another thing too. Yeah, I don't even think they can follow through half the time. <laughs> a hard Irish whip. A hard Irish whip. <laughs> oh, there was. I'm pretty sure that like rolling savate animation was in like one of the WCW PS1 games. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know if back kick. it looks like nobody in AI mode goes to the top rope, so you're probably not going to hear my favorite bit of commentary unless you heard it last time. Oh, was that? I don't think we did. Where in if somebody goes up to the top rope and jumps off, like 80% of the time, I think I think it's uh, Heenan. No, it might be Shivani. Shivani just goes airborne in like that exact <laughs> inflection. Oh man, that sounds like old Shivante. <laughs> That's like one of the two bits of dialogue when somebody jumps off the top. I don't know if this game. I forget if this game also has the off the ropes, running off the ropes, into the ropes. <laughs> it should if it doesn't. <laughs> well, this game should have is that sound bite of Joel Gertner crying. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's the weird thing about Anarchy Rules, is that sometimes he'll just start crying like a baby, and I have no idea why he does it. <laughs> and so quickly the tables turn. Also, I checked out a bit of WWF Attitude again, just to, like, hear some of the voice clips again. Mostly to hear Gangrel talk again, because really. Uh, 
is there a reason why Shane McMahon like just does maniacal laughter like most of the time in that game? <laughs> <laughs> like half of the time anything happens, you just hear him going, ha <laughs> ha! Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at look that! At that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that about sums up ECW, yeah. <laughs> ECW, that federation where everybody's outfit was the same because they just like kind of showed them whatever they had on at the time. <laughs> I like that both of them always have to like pause and put their hand on their hip for like 10 seconds. Every time. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. Off the ropes. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually did something with it, but building up power. <laughs> I actually went into ECW shows back in the day. Yeah, I, I, I was too late to the party, and that was, uh, that was in my uh, state. <laughs> so. <laughs> I forgot if they were, like, actually Philly or just, like, Pennsylvania, but... Uh, I think it was Philly. Yeah, it was Philly. Okay. Because I actually got confused last time. I incorrectly said that Poison, the band, came from Philly. They do not actually come from Philly. Thank God. <laughs> it's either Philly or, like, the Philly area. Yeah. Like, how, how everything is, like, even if it's not... Even if it's in, like, upper New Jersey, they say it's New York City. <laughs> I, um... A similar gaff was, uh, when I said the band Live came from Philly, and I, uh, a friend corrected me by saying York. Don't associate my hometown with those guys. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's funny, too, because, like... Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, the deathmatch uh, match that I watched last night. Uh, yeah, it, re it made me realize that I did not want to be in the actual audiences for those things, especially the indie stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun until it comes to fire hazard. Yeah, that's why I couldn't believe what I saw last night. You know that one post going around like at the promos. It's like it's like uh, June Kasai and two other guys versus like zombie George Bush and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's just like yeah, two matches were fun <laughs> until the gas hits. Yeah, <laughs> like there's one guy that just comes in with like he twirls something that has like two sparklers at the end, and he just comes in like that, <laughs> and people have to run away from him. Like, Sash, what was the death match we watched that was like the grossest thing we've ever seen? <laughs> um. Oh, it was Triple Mania a couple years ago. Right back oh, yeah. With, like, Psycho Clown and um, Pagano. Well, that, that tells you the quality of the match right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what happened in it, though? It was just, like... I, I don't know how to describe it. It was just, like... It, like, there was no... It was, it was the no psychology sort of thing, where it was just... Every... It was just... All blood. Oh. All all like e like every possible weapon was in the ring and nobody could wrestle <laughs> one of those what, what it's like it's like the, the type of deathmatch that people who hate deathmatches say all deathmatches are ah <laughs> that just describes uh describes it pretty perfectly yeah also i won for what it's worth which is not a lot <laughs> Because death matches in concept aren't very bad, um, like if they're done well and the people can actually wrestle and have you know psychology or whatever. Yeah. But most of the time, well, not most of the time, just sometimes. It, so let's just sim up to the semifinals or the finals. <laughs> the Grand Wizard beat the fire. <laughs> this game is in hell. <laughs> we actually don't know who won this one. <laughs> Is the icon. <laughs> uh, I think that was specifically Jerk Bogan. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, no, it's it's. Um... Oh wait, no, it's Melly. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna All be right, Melly. I'm up <laughs> against Mil. <laughs> Mil Mascaras, the uh, biggest asshole in wrestling. Uh, A.K. Brokowski from uh, Revenge, where he was like a weird-looking uh, Chip and Dale's dancer. Uh. 
What? I, I remember, um, yeah, the deathmatch that Sasha and I were watching. This time? You know, the one with the, uh, oh, yeah. Cactus Jack and Hayabusa and all that. Um, I was like, oh yeah, I can handle this, but as soon as, like, the glass came in, I was like, uh, I don't want to look at this anymore. <laughs> like, I will. <laughs> and her opponent from Mexico City, Mexico. I'm gonna run and grab some some food really quick, but when I get back, I'm gonna talk about my favorite story about Mil Mascaris being an absolute asshole. <laughs> Sounds good. I will say, um I saw a quick review of the movie Ready to Rumble. Uh, mostly because David Arquette's gonna be in, like, one of our friend's streams, which is still completely insane. Um, I didn't know that the very first frame of the movie Ready to Rumble is Sid Vicious covered in blood. <laughs> so there's that. Also, Perry Saturn was in that movie? Like, <laughs> What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on. Oh, please tell me that they're gonna count themselves out. <laughs> please tell me. It was for a split second, and they didn't do anything about it. No, it wasn't! You don't have to lie! <laughs> okay, so we're back at least. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about, uh, I saw a quick, uh, review of Ready to Rumble, because David Arquette and all that. Uh... Yeah, the very first frame of that movie is a horrifying still image of Sid Vicious covered in blood. Which is like kind of a weird note for that movie to start on. It's telling for what you're in for. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the reviews. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's like the one move that looks like it actually hurt. That is somehow the slowest lucha move I think I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a bad lucha thing. Man, I, I God gotta, damn it! I, Woo! <laughs> I get I, out of all those like yo screwed up for him. Is that one might be one of my favorites just because the way that guy talks at the end just reminds me so much of myself when like my brain's not working but I'm talking anyway. <laughs> What did I miss, and is the answer nothing? <laughs> uh, we had the first, like, ring out, and it lasted for, like, eight seconds. <laughs> uh, I think I, I, I told this to Sasha, but, uh, you should make a Fire Pro edit of Kalisto. That's just, it's, it's like, it's one of the dumb voice edits, where just every, um, bit of dialogue is either Will, is, um, either Zack Sabre going, damn it, or somebody saying, woo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be easy to do, uh, so... What the fuck?! <laughs> Whoa! No. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> so by proxy of throwing him into another dimension, I am victorious. Mil Miscaris <laughs> sabotaging the match yet again. <laughs> so... Uh, while I wait for something to happen, uh, what was the, uh, the... So, this was one of the early 90s Royal Rumbles. I can't remember which year, but WWE had, like, a cross-promotion thing with a Mexican company. And Mil Mascaras was one of the wrestlers they brought in for the Royal Rumble. Um, he refused to let himself be eliminated by anyone. <laughs> he was 
So he purposefully at one point just got up on the top rope, looked around, threw himself off the top rope so no one could eliminate him but himself. <laughs> so it was just the end of the shin fight in Fist of the North Star, but wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I win. <laughs> you win! Hell yeah. I like to thank my um, fans. He refused to be defeated, <laughs> so he just ran off into another dimension. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of prophetic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and there's Rick Rude. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so I didn't win. Want to like... do it again or just sim it? <laughs> I won. Perfect. Uh, exit tournament, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so get us the hell out of here. <laughs> I was gonna try the uh, battle royale, but uh, we should probably just move on. <laughs> probably. 